Buzz Aldrin, a.k.a. Edwin Eugene Aldrin Jr., was born January 20th, 1930, in New Jersey. He is best known for being the second man on the moon, only after Neil Armstrong. His name of Buzz was given to him by his sister, mispronouncing brother as Buzzer, but was later shortened to Buzz. Over the course of Buzz's career, he worked as an astronaut, an engineer, a fighter pilot, and an actor, and an author. Now, of course, to be an astronaut, you have to be pretty smart, and Buzz is no exception. In 1951, he graduated third in his class at West Point out of 475 students. He's also part of the third group of men to be chosen by NASA to be Apollo astronauts. Apollo 11 is the first space mission that landed people on the moon. Neil and Buzz barely arrived with enough fuel on July 20th, 1969. Buzz was the first to take communion on the moon, and Neil stepped out and became the first man to walk on the moon. Buzz would soon join him. They collected some space rocks for study and had spent 21.5 hours on the surface of the moon. They were almost stranded on the moon. This is because a circuit breaker had broken and they had no power. So Buzz had to think of something to replace the switch. So he jammed his felt tip pen into it and was able to start it, which worked and got them off the moon. Finally, years later in 1972, he retires from NASA. Nearly five decades later, 87-year-old Aldrin has remained an untiring advocate for human space exploration, influencing multi-generations of popular culture. Buzz Lightyear to Star Command. Come in, Star Command. From Toy Story's Buzz Lightyear. Star Command. To MTV's Video Music Awards Moon Man statue. In his spare time, he expresses his concern for what NASA is doing and how they should be looking into Mars. As for his career after NASA, he has appeared and voiced in movies, shows, and cartoons. He voiced himself in The Simpsons, he's appeared as himself in The Big Bang Theory, and appeared as himself in Transformers Dark of the Moon. So he's quite the actor. He's still alive to this day at the age of 89.